All right, in closing, there is one other f great feature of UCS that I wanted to discuss that uh, really deserves probably a lot more attention than, I, than I've been able to give it, and that's the span capability. And so monitoring traffic from at all levels within UCS Manager is a, is a capability that you have now. And now if you're familiar with networking, you probably know what span means. That means that you can pick a port to be a destination port. This is your monitoring port. And you take that port and you connect it to your device that's going to monitor the traffic, such as a sniffer or, or a network analysis device. And then you define a source port. And you're going to say, OK, where am I going to get the traffic from that I want to monitor? And typically with um, networking, what you've done is you've picked a source port to be a VLAN or to be a, a interface facing a server. And then you capture all the traffic that way. Well, UCS with SPAN now um, has really been able to take this to a whole new level in the sense that not only can you choose a physical interface as a source port, but now since everything is really centrally and logically connected to the Fabric Interconnect, remember with all those virtual cables and all the virtual adapters connecting to a virtual port on the Fabric Interconnect, now everything in terms of individual VHVAs, individual VNICs per server, um, individual VMs, for example, if you're using the VMFX technology, can now be potential sources of a span session. So if I want to look at the traffic of just one VM, no matter where it exists on any server at any time, I can do that. I can set up just a single VM as a span source if I wanted to. Or I could look at just one of the VHBAs. So you can have very granular control over choosing the traffic that you look at. And there's a lot of flexibility in terms of it doesn't matter where that port moves to. And for example, this VHBA might be on blade number one on one day, and it might be on blade number 65 another day. But that doesn't change the uh, continuity of your span session, because it doesn't matter which blade that VHBA is on. It's still centrally connected to the same fabric interconnect. So span on UCS is a very cool uh, technology that I think is definitely worth uh, worth mentioning. And also, uh, one other thing is private VLANs. That is new as well. Um, and so this is, allows you the capability to define um, access ports only. Right now, that's the initial offering. But if you had a lot of different um, servers, maybe in a hosted environment, that you wanted to segregate from each other from a security isolation perspective, without having to put, put each one of those servers on its own VLAN and its own IP address space, well, then you can provide that security isolation now with a uh, private VLAN configuration um, defined in UCS. You can also do this on a per virtual machine level, too. So you can have lots of virtual machines using the VMFX technology, each defined as their own isolated access port. And now you've got a bunch of VMs all on the same VLAN, all on the same IP address space, but they're all completely isolated from each other from a security standpoint. So that might be uh, something that can be leveraged in uh, you know, larger service provider environments that are providing uh, virtual machines as a service. And just one brief note on IPv6 in closing here. Um, UCS infrastructure, the servers and the network, <clears throat> the fabric interconnect and the adapters and the servers and the fabric extenders all forward IPv6 data just like it would any other Ethernet traffic. So you can load any kind of IPv6 application on a server and that's going to work perfectly fine with UCS. It's the management infrastructure of UCS that is still IPv4 only. So the IP address you assign to the Fabric Interconnect for management um, today is going to be an IPv4 address. All of the um, KVM IP addresses uh, for all the servers will be um, IPv4 today as well. But we do have IPv6 targeting the roadmap. So it is something that is coming soon. It's just not here yet today.